So we're going to take a journey together, and I'm going to tell you a story, and it's a magical metaphor for this pathway of transformation experienced through the life of the butterfly. So we begin with the caterpillar. And last week, thanks to Reverend Blake Isaac, we learned all about this earthbound personality self. We learned about all the psychological components that make up who we think we are based on our past conditioning, our parents, our teachers, our peers, society as a whole. And so we live our lives according to these values and beliefs from this conditioning with the goal of surviving and hopefully thriving in our life. What happens is we take on various roles throughout our life as we work our way towards receiving an education and choosing a career, finding a partner, starting a family, advancing in our professions, maybe achieving financial status and security, as well as recognition and the esteem of ourself and others. So for the most part, this persona side can get along pretty well in life. We can kind of go along, going through the motions. Our ego operates pretty efficiently enough to get us through our goals and our desires. And some of the questions we may ask in this stage is, what are my goals? How can I get there? And how fast? So many people are content living in a world with this conscious ego, unaware of that deeper, darker self within. But what happens is we can get trapped in autopilot, just going through the motions in our lives. And at a certain point in our life, usually it's at middle age, although with recent challenges in our society, it's been happening at much younger ages. So what happens is we start questioning our priorities. We start a search. And we may begin to feel there's something more in life. So we might take on some new activities, take some classes, um, look for some new personal development avenues, some hobbies, and it, maybe even explore different modes of spirituality. And the questions we start asking ourselves, is there something more to my life? What do I really want out of life? And how do I get there? What is my true purpose? So what happens is there's this little battle starting between our personality self and the higher self that starts to call to us. The personality self, however, will adjust quite nicely. That ego comes in and will help us find solutions that will help it keep its identity intact. So oftentimes, these new pursuits, they'll just add new layers to who we already are or who already we think we are. And there's rarely a transformation. So the ego does stay intact. After all, it's gotten us this far in our life, and it wants credit for that. So it's not about to turn over a new leaf, even though the caterpillar can. So all these different things we try, basically, it's so easy to go back to the way we always were. It's the easy way out. It's not the dark night way out. Until something gets triggered. And this is where the realm of the dark night begins. It's the cocoon. It's usually triggered by an external event in our lives. It could be something as catastrophic as the death of a loved one. Uh, more catastrophic is a premature death, like of a child. It can also be a loss of a job. It could be a debilitating illness, a financial setback. Anything that once, you gave, that once gave your life meaning and security is now taken away. It collapses. So somewhere inside of us, something else gets triggered. There could be a childhood wound or something from our past that just surfaces out of nowhere. It's anything that we encounter that starts to invalidate or threaten our previously held beliefs about ourselves, who we are. And this begins the dark night. It feels like we've entered a dark cave. And this isn't just any man cave that we go retreat to on a Sunday night football, maybe, or just go binge on Netflix, and then we'll be able to 
take care of that, no. This is something much deeper, something we've never experienced before. It's unknown territory. And it's our way of looking at our conceptual framework of life and re-evaluating it. These are some of the feelings that we can feel. Lost, isolated, abandoned, alone, completely overcome with grief and sadness and melancholy, melancholy, maybe some anguish. There's betrayal and abandonment, 